Number one, an estimation question. Well, once in a while they'll give you this estimation question. You just have to kind of guess out some values. But here we have some help. They're asking for kinetic energy. So you can remember that kinetic energy is half mv squared. V is given to us, thankfully. Now we just have to estimate what is the mass of a car? Hmm. There's a lot of range of values, you know. Do, is it, are you talking about the small car? Are you talking about the big van kind of car? Are you talking about the race car? I don't know. There's so many cars. But I'm going to estimate... Let's say there's five people in the car. So five people can fit about, let's say, 80 kg each person. So that will be a total of about 400 kg. Just for humans alone. But what about the car itself? Well, think of it a metal chunk. I would say roughly about 1,000 kg. Okay. Oh, how about the passengers? Oh, okay, so let's say there's about passengers. These are just estimates. Huh? If you want, you can go Google Google the answer. You'll probably find some values too. But let's see how this works out. So half times 1400 zero zero times 30 square. Wow, that is a lot of energy. So 6300000 joules. And how many zeros are those? The answers they give are kind of in powers. Okay, so if I, my value, I would get roughly 0 0.63 times 10 to the 6 joules. Or if I put it in 10 to the 4, can I change that? 63 times 10 to the 4. So what's closer? Usually when they only give this prefix, it's kind of like 1 times 10 to the 4-ish. So I'm kind of torn between B and C, A and D out. So I'll choose... I'll err on the bigger side. So I'm going to say that it's probably a heavier mass. 10 to the 6. Now it's kind of tricky to practice this. Go search around Google, find the answers, and get better at estimate questions. Okay, so that's question 1. For the next video, go find question 2 and the rest.